Hello YouTubers. This video is a small lesson how to control the Mitsubishi VFD via Profibus by the Siemens S7-1200 PLC. Used Hardware Siemens S7-1214 CCPU Siemens CM1243-5 Communication Processor Mitsubishi FRA800 Series VFD Mitsubishi FRA8 NP Profibus Card VIPA 972-0 DP10 Profibus Connector Profibus Cable 2x390 Ohm, 1x220 Ohm Resistors Use Software Siemens TIA Portal V15.1 Mitsubishi FR Configurator 3 First of all let's make a hardware configuration in the TIA Portal As for the new project you need to add the device to add the device click on add the new device in the project tree An add new device dialog will open click on the controllers and select cpu 1214 cdc slash dc slash rly and click ok tia portal creates rack with the selected cpu in the properties general tab Prop INET interface let's add new subnet. Let's leave the IP address as default for now. Next let's add the Profibus communication processor from the hardware catalog. It can be found in the communications modules. Drag and drop the selected module the racks position 101. Let's add the Profibus subnet. Leave the Profibus address unchanged. Compile and save the configuration. After the configuration saved let's switch to network view. Here we can see the configured PLC. Profinet, and Profibus Networks. From the hardware catalog insert the Mitsubishi A8NP station. Assign the station to the Profibus Master. Give it a name you want to. Change the Profibus address to the one that suits you. It must be the same as had been set in the VFD. Click on the station and then click device view. Now the PPO type needs to be picked up. There are 5 PPO types. Let's look into the manual of the A8NP optional card to determine which PPO type suits the most. According to the manual, to control the VFD it is enough PPO type 3. It contains two input words and two output words. First input word contains control bits. Second input word is the set point of the frequency. First output word contains status bits. Second output word contains output frequency. From the hardware catalog click on the PPO type 3 and drag and drop it in the device overview. Get back to the network view. Compile and save the hardware configuration.
Hardware configuration in TIA portal is finished. Next is the configuration of the VFD. It will be covered in my next video. Thanks for watching.